following our last video, what to expect when having fish shipped to you, we mentioned we would cover the filtration of our various tanks. So this is a great opportunity to showcase what we use. So we only use these sheets of foam in our aquarium. So this is what keeps our water so good. This is what allows our fish to live in such environmentally stable and pure environments, which is why they're so good. The proof of the pudding is, is in the quality. The porrit foam is a staged open cell foam that you pass the water through. In a high velocity, it works as a mechanical filtration, and in a slightly slower velocity, it will work as both mechanical and biological filtration. Now, I wouldn't get too worried about massive amounts of biological filtration. I think it's a, it's a bit of a misnomer that we are sold down this rabbit hole to get as much square surface area. But the minute that any of your material covers up with malm or debris, then that internal surface area is no more valid. And that's why we stick with port filter foam. It's a really good, high quality, open cell foam. It's a little bit expensive, but normally the German products are a little bit more expensive, but they pay for themselves in their long-term use. When you're looking after the quality of your fish, you really want the best possible product, and you want to see them in the best light. That's why we focus heavily on mechanical filtration. So you can see this aquarium, this is a sump setup for a customer, and the water would pass from right through to left, passing through the various stages. And you can see we've filled that inner cubicle and that is filled with squares of the port foam. So basically that acts as your biological and then the water passes through the various stages of foam so it takes out as much debris as possible. That allows the tank to look visibly clear and biologically stable, so quite a great option. We focus heavily on the mechanical filtration, a little bit of the biological, don't get too crazy. You can see in that sump setup part we just used shell so you know it's you can use whatever don't be too freaked out by that the whole tank becomes a biological filter now this tank is obviously our sail tank where we're showcasing a lot of trophies fish this month so this is a showcase of the various species that we have and we've got bulu points available we've got the maleros we've got the icolas the pembers blonde maleros which is kind of a similar to the caramba but slightly different and then the caramba which is the orange version also in this tank is a big collection of various peacocks. So in front you can see the beautiful sunshine peacock. Then we've got the other slightly more dainty species, which I really am absolutely loving at the moment. And they're the chalumba. It's this deep purple regal with little flecks of yellow and gold in it. And they will be showcased further on in this video. So yep, lots of beautiful peacocks available to go to their forever homes, as well as some beautiful trophies to go as real feature showpieces in an existing tank or setup. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Enjoy the next few minutes of chill, just checking out the tanks. As you can see here, we've got those beautiful Lawandas and the Lemon Jakes, the Apaches. Really loving this tank. It's it's uh, it's gotten to the point that it's just looking so good. And that's all down to the port filter foam. So we wouldn't be where we are without it. It was a great partnership many years ago, and I'm glad that we went that route. We're still only using port foam. We've never used anything else, and I think that's a great way to go. We've also got that beautiful blue orchid Jacob Fry Burgai that we're showcasing for you there. Hoping that you've enjoyed this video, you understand how we filter our aquarium, you enjoyed the overall look of the tank. Hit us up in the comments and enjoy your week.